Oops, take your time. Training sessions are harder now for Kadena Cox. She's long been familiar with the aches and pains of trying to be the best athlete she could. What she's now getting used to is the added pain caused by multiple sclerosis, a disease that damages the nervous system and affects muscle control. I think I get used to it, like at first it was pretty painful, but like the pain is not as bad now, but I'm not sure if that's the tablets or if I got used to it. And each time I do something, I kind of know what the reaction is. So once I've had the reaction once, kind of just crack on with it. <laughs> My British University medals, got them in um, the Olympic Stadium in 2012. We had Her medal collection at home in Chapel Town is a reminder of the promise Kadena showed as a young sprinter when she became Northern Counties champion. But injuries and illness seemed to be holding her back. And in September, she collapsed after competing. Soon after, she was diagnosed with MS. Struggle like when I heard of a few sleepless nights. She can have good periods and then occasions she might not well, but with her, I don't think the, the bad period will be as bad because she is stubborn that they're not going to get her down. Good. Kadena and her coach Brian are finding out how far she can now be pushed. So it's just, it's a question of believing that you can change things. Um, they're just working away at it, you know. What she's got in her favour is a fantastic uh, degree of optimism. She's feisty. One of Kadena's symptoms is severe stiffness down her right hand side. You're okay. But this. Is that you? Is that the way you are now? Yeah. <laughs> Brian's coach disabled athletes in the past and the way forward may be Paralympics. It's not a bad thing um, as long as I can still move forward in athletics and kind of be there as a role model to other people. Um, I'm happy and I'm doing what I love so that's all that counts I guess. I just have to try not to worry but I know whatever she, got to, she put her mind to she will achieve it and she will do it regardless how hard it would be. You know, I'm quite proud of her. Thanks. <laughs> Ian Bucknell, BBC Look North, Leeds.